welcome to the Bike Breakdown Lane. You break down and we point and laugh. <laughs> Just like the other bike. 100 FM, the bike. We do it every Friday. Play your messages back from the uh, Breakdown Lane. Let's see what kind of trouble we can get into this week. Hey, it's Alex Jones here. Oh, God. Bill Post invented Pop-Tarts for Hillary Clinton in her lizard army. And pop tarts are controlling our kids' brains, and the Pentagon knows about it. And the globalists are working closely with the goat people. And I was cut out of the commercial with Matt Damon and Ben Affleck because they shrunk my tracksuit in the washer, which was made by communist China. I love Alex Jones, guy. I, he's, and he's so spot on, Alex Jones. Very specific and aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did uh, have a, an experiment with Pop Tarts yesterday. Bill I Post. forgot what that message was about. I know, right, guy? You had to kind of, <laughs> kind of hang on to that information. Um, we have Bill Post, the inventor of the Pop Tart, died uh, the past few days. He was 96. Uh, so yesterday we paid tribute, or maybe not. Uh, first, someone suggested <laughs> putting butter on your Pop Tarts, which was delightful. And then uh, we, we made, took it too far. Right. Someone said make a peanut butter sandwich out of two strawberry Pop-Tarts. But Josh got Reese's peanut butter cups instead, which that was phenomenal. Yeah. And then I, I, I took it too far. I took some of those uh, TJ spicy pickles we had him in earlier in the week. And I put them on the, the sandwich with the Reese's peanut butter cups. Yeah, I'm not even sure that's legal. You know, it was like it was like Jägermeister. Uh, it was fun <laughs> while it was going down. Uh, but then a little while later, you, uh, you're you regretting every single moment of it. And now today, you're you're planning more well, poor I gotta, food choices. Look, at Cinnamon Toast Crunch taco shells. What yes. could possibly go wrong? Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and then you're adding taco well, I shells. Well, sa- they're saying they're dessert tacos, but I'm just wondering what it would taste like with, you know, the regular taco stuff in it. You that, know, like car- car- carnitas or something like that. Um, and, you know, so I don't know. I don't know. That's I more wanna, of a 2 o'clock in the morning decision. It, it really is. <laughs> I want to thank the uh, the listener who uh, sent this in to us yesterday. I totally forgot about this from Family Guy. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? It's so freaking good. Have you ever put butter on a Pop-Tart? If you haven't, then I think you should. I was sitting in the kitchen one day, and I was itching to fill up my belly with the piping hot jelly of the best damn treat in the world. He's talking Pop-Tarts. And I saw a stick of butter, and it almost made me shudder and scream like a baby girl. I don't want a giant penis or a rocket trip to Venus. I don't want to win the lottery. I just want to squat and gobble till I'm dizzy and I wobble in a butterfruit and Joe's hot dream. Thank you very much. For, I totally forgot about that from Family Guy. Fantastic. Yeah, butter on a Pop-Tart, great. Butter, uh, I mean, a sandwich, Pop-Tart sandwich with uh, Reese's peanut butter cups and spicy pickles, not good. It's you're, called the shoe. You're welcome for that research, by the way. Mike, it's God, your hey. best friend. Listen, you've been praying a lot lately, which I love, and I know it's because you've eaten red meat most of your life and you're at the risk of a heart attack at any minute. But don't worry, I got you, Mike, as long as you do me this one solid. Can you get me Neil Young tickets? Wow. God, Even God needs help. God needs help getting tickets. <laughs> you think he could just show up? One of those, you think he'd be like Tom Brady, right? Where you can just show up and get in yeah. anywhere you want without a ticket or anything yeah. like that. You know, never have to pay for anything, you didn't drink or anything for the rest of your life. Not Neil Young tickets. Not Neil Young tickets, though. Yeah, those tickets, I believe, go on sale this morning at 10 a.m. Neil Young and Crazy Horse, I believe, at the Xfinity Center, uh, May 17th. Uh, and again, I didn't know God was such a huge uh, Neil Young fan. Circled on the calendar, apparently. Uh, yeah, the holy calendar. It's it, He doesn't even circle Easter anymore. No, he but doesn't. Neil Young at the Xfinity <laughs> Center. Hello, Michael. It is me, Cupid. What the heck? I give you the great idea of getting a pickle bouquet for your wife, and then you go and ruin it all the next day by eating Pop-Tart sandwiches. You know, you just turned her right off. Cupid, thank you for the idea. And thanks to TJ from TJ Spicy Pickles for making that beautiful bouquet. She loved it. As far as turning off my wife, you are 10 years too late, buddy. <laughs> hey, Shu, I saw that uh, Hovercraft video of uh, your your adventures uh, episodes there. Hey, I was wondering, does that Hovercraft float high enough to uh, to avoid the potholes here in Worcester? Oh, very good. Very. Good. I, I would imagine it does. I think you need... You need water or ice to drive the hovercraft. Yeah. Also, I don't think hovercrafts float. They hover. 
Yeah, there's, <laughs> apparently there's a difference. If you haven't seen the video yet, this is so I, I said my New Year's resolution tw- try 12 different things I've never tried before, go to 12 different places I've never been. So I definitely, de- uh, the Webster Fire Department was nice enough to invite me to their ice rescue training last weekend. And uh, Josh came with me and we made a video. And uh, I took a nice ride on their hovercraft, which is very exciting. Yes. I, I, I'd love to have one of those things. And then uh, they, uh, I got a life suit on and then they threw me in a hole in the ice and they, they uh, trained to rescue me. That and one seemed like a bad idea. It was actually a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, only because I was attached by a rope. And the entire Webster Fire Department was there. So I was feel pretty safe about that. And I doing. was supervising. Yeah, you were so supervising, that, yeah. of course. You can see that video now. It's at pikefm.com. Again, thanks to the Webster Fire Department. And uh, you can also see it on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We put videos, audio, all sorts of stuff from the station up there. Well, thank you for your messages for the Pike Breakdown Lane. We do it every Friday. Don't worry. We'll never call you back. We'll never sell your information. We're just not that smart. You can call the Pike Breakdown.